Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In one of our previous video, we discussed what a gearbox is, why it is necessary and how it works. We have also seen a simple type of gearbox that is the sliding mesh gearbox. Today, we'll be covering the other types of manually operated gearbox. In this video, we'll discuss the constant mesh and synchro mesh gearboxes. Let's start with the constant mesh gearbox. As the name says, the gears in the output shaft of this gearbox are in constant mesh with their respective gears in the lay shaft. Are you wondering how the speed change takes place then? Well, for this, they have to be clear with the construction of the gearbox. As usual, the gearbox has an input shaft, a splined output shaft, a lay shaft and an idler shaft. The input shaft is the clutch shaft and the output shaft is connected to the wheels. There is a gear called clutch gear mounted on the input shaft. This meshes with the first gear in the lay shaft. Based on the number of reductions required, gears are placed in the output shaft. Each gear in the output shaft has a corresponding meshing gear in the lay shaft. There is also an idler gear in the idler shaft. Now, let us name the gear sets for easy understanding. The gears in the lay shaft are rigidly fixed and they rotate whenever the lay shaft rotates. But the gears in the output shaft are mounted over bushings so that they can rotate without turning the shaft. This condition is said to be neutral. But how does the motion get transmitted and the speed reduction happen? For this, we have additional dog clutches in between the gears in the output shaft. The dog clutches can slide over the shaft and can get engaged with any gear in the shaft. The engaged gear rotates the clutch, which in turn makes the shaft rotate because of the splines. Now, let us see the gears one by one. When the driver sets the gear lever for first gear, the dog clutch gets attached to gear one and the vehicle runs at the speed of gear one. At this time, the torque will be more and the speed will be less. Similarly, when the second gear is set, the dog clutch fixes onto the gear 2 and the shaft rotates with lesser torque and higher speed than the first gear. As discussed in our previous video, the drives obtained so far are called indirect drives. For the direct drive, that is top gear, the dog clutch gets engaged with the clutch gear of the input shaft, making the output shaft rotate at the same speed of the input. Here, the vehicle runs at the maximum speed. When it comes to reverse gear, it works in a similar way. The dog clutch engages with the gear which meshes with the idler gear and so the direction of the drive changes. In this type, except for the reverse gear, the others can use a helical or double helical gears. As the dog clutches are used for engaging gears, there will be less noise and there will be less wear. These features make this type of gearbox superior to the sliding mesh gearbox. That's all about the constant mesh gearbox. Then we have another type of gearbox called the synchro mesh gearbox. The construction and working of the synchro mesh gearbox almost similar to the constant mesh gearbox. The only difference is that instead of the dog clutches, synchronizers are used here. Synchronizer is a cone clutch that has female cones on both its sides and it can freely slide over the splines of the output shaft. The gears on the output shaft are provided with male cone surfaces that can engage with the female cones. As in a constant mesh gearbox, all gears in the output shaft are in constant mesh with their respective gears in the lay shaft except for the reverse gear. Now, let's see how this works. When the synchronizers are left free and the input shaft rotates, the lay shaft rotates as well. But the output shaft will remain stationary and this is said to be neutral. When the driver operates the gear lever and sets it for first gear, the synchronizer moves and its female cone engages with the male cone of the first gear. Due to the friction between the cone surfaces, the synchronizer rotates and it makes the output shaft rotate as well in the desired speed. This repeats for all the forward speeds. That is, for second gear, the synchronizer moves and engages with gear 2. Here, the speed reduction is less and the torque produced will be comparatively low when compared with gear 1. For third gear, the synchronizer engages with gear 3, providing high speed and less torque. For the final gear, the synchronizer engages with the clutch gear and makes the output shaft rotate at the same speed of the input shaft. Then, at last, for reverse gear, the idler gear slides and comes in between the reverse gears. Thus, the reverse motion is achieved. This is how the synchro mesh gearbox works. Using this type of gearbox makes gear changing easier and there will be lesser wear. But the design is complex and it is costly when compared with other types. So, that's it for this video guys. We'll meet up again in the next one. Bye.